We have the new update available for the latest Spark OS version 6.4 which as always includes a lot of changes, a lot of new things so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. The video could be interesting for you as a lot of things have been changed, a lot of things have been added in this build so let's find out some things. For example of course as it's the latest version Spark OS maybe 12.4 which is what we have and if you talk about the security update, yes this is what we have June security patch is now included in this one june security patch so yes a lot of things is gonna change in this one for example some new customizations it's based on android 12 l you can see android 12.1 whichever you want to consider about both of the builds are almost same it includes some customizations the first change the first biggest change which we have here is the launcher the previous times we had launcher which includes some extra features for you and a lot more things but now in this version we have launcher pre-installed launcher yes some things have been changed launcher always has some bit of extra things for you but it will not give you the grid in recent app it will not give you other options which you have in pixel launcher maybe it has better options or more options than pixel launcher but a lot of users love to use launcher on their devices a lot of users don't want that if you don't want that what you can do is you can simply install magis install any other launcher if you want to we have the Corvus launcher, we have other launcher mods available. You can even try out the Pixel launcher mod if you want to, but launcher is actually pre-installed, which includes some features and gestures too. And I'm using the latest version by the way, it's by default. And yes, as it is official version, so the things might be almost same with your case also, as I'm using it in Redmi Note 8, but it should work for your device too. Moving on to some other things here, moving on to some other options or the things or changes which you have here is the fonts. In the previous update, we didn't have these much fonts available. You could add a lot of fonts, but in this version, one of my favorite fonts have been added. For example, Staropia, Nokia Pure, all these things are already there. If I try to apply any font, you don't need to reboot your device and the fonts will be applied everywhere. For example, even in the third party apps. So yes, this is something good. You also have the nothing fonts available. Nothing, yes, nothing device. And if you want these fonts as a magisk module, I made a video already. You can go and find it out. And if you, if you are not able to find it, you can simply comment below while I'll try to provide the file for that we have some icons customizations too signal icons yes for signal you have a lot of icon options available xperia stroke we have roman pills and ios kind of style for the status bar icons for signal icons basically network traffic network indicator sorry network icons dead icons we have a fan scroll there are a lot of options available for you which you can go and give it a try we also have some Wi-Fi icon customizations available too, which includes uh, Dora, Xperia, Stroke, Wavy, some of are quite famous and you already know about it. So these are the things which you have in Wi-Fi icons too. If you move on to other options, let me tell you one more thing. If I move on to the three finger screenshot, now we have the Google Lens option supported. It was not available previously, but with this new update, now we have the option available to simply search it with Google Lens. So that might be really helpful in some cases where you want to search for something. You can simply click on this Google Lens button by taking a screenshot and it will redirect you to the Google Lens app. So make sure you have the Google Lens app installed or else it will not work and you already know about this you also have the new gaming space available for example i tried using this gaming mode on my device by installing a just game for an example for example the super league if i move on to the game and try to open this gaming mode click on this okay this is what we have right now available looks of course kind of really interesting one and if you find this gaming mode quite good for you you will definitely love this thing because it's by default included and i think so it's better than the normal gaming dashboard which you have in pixel devices by from google and yes it's better than that a lot of users love to use this thing on their devices if i move on to the customizations or if i move on to the other options as that was all from about the changes and other than else yes things are basically same we have some battery customizations we have some fireworks where you have theming customizations and miscellaneous you have for in ignore window secure flags ad blocker application downgrade and game space you already saw and a lot more things have been included these are things which you have here by default and these were things i just want to let you know about this latest update link for all the official supported devices is already available in the description this is all 
goodbye.